quick look here at the All Black side as they line up with the three new caps, uh, Tungamata, Preston, and of course Graham Purvis down there in the front row, number three. That's the All Black side for the match this afternoon. And away we go then in this second match for the All Blacks in the 1991 World Cup against United States here in Gloucester and uh, John Timu playing out on the right wing side today for the All Blacks and so we come back to the 22 for the restart and a first touch of the ball and test matches for John Preston from Burnside in Christchurch big day for him and conditions really couldn't be better now the sun has come out really do greet the players onto the field here and Preston with his first drop out and has he made it to the 10 meter line don't think he did yes the referee says carry on and so the kick is in touch 12 meters on the all black side of halfway John Preston such a versatile player good tap by Andy Earl the kick from Preston pushing it up to him is coming quickly down the left wing side but he's a judge to be offside by the referee first penalty attempt then for John Preston and he's dragged that one away to the left they have big boys those second rows they are bigger than the all blacks that's for sure and that's a nice kick by john preston so the all blacks swing back onto the attack and so now preston with a clearing kick beautifully struck again by john preston it's nice timing well, that's what it's all about with this ball isn't it yeah, absolutely they you cannot really whack it you've actually got to stroke it coming on the all black side fired it away McCarhill has it straight across for Timu Timu trying to run outside his man has support from McCarhill right is lurking as well now Preston feeding Innes all black starting to move it around a little now Alan Witten gets his hands on it 22 meter line now there's a big line up for the all blacks Preston across to right good tackle by Paul Sheehy now Preston again running it out to Tuigamala the ball popped away and it was deliberately pushed away a deliberate forward pass at least a deliberate knock on nice graceful looking kick by Preston and he has his first points in an all-black jersey John Preston kicks a penalty goal for the all-blacks after 14 minutes play defense has been pretty solid so far now the all-blacks have a good lineup Tui Gamalas, who was putting his boot on and has stayed out on the right wing side. Not sure that he's even got the boot on as yet. He's still going. No, he hasn't. Five metres out from the goal line. Well, the USA, number five, was uh, penalised for coming in from more than five yards outside the line of the line. Michael Jones made the break. Now in us. Away to Preston. Holds up the pass for McCarhill. And Terry Wright scores for the All Blacks. Let's come back on the All Black side. Well, someone must have hacked it through there. Preston with a nice little ju kick, judge through. Hicked ahead by Ray Guinness. Now the race is on. Eric Whittaker going back for the States. He missed it. Taken in by the right wing three quarter, Gary Hyde. But the All Blacks are there in numbers. Basher pops it up across to McCarhill. All Blacks getting pretty close to the line once again as they take it into the setup. Powerful arms McDowell has done that. Now Preston. Oh, it's been charged. There's a charge for Joseph Burke good tackle in the end by Preston who tipped him and then McCarhill drove in and completed it 20 metres out from the line chance for the States if they can clear it quickly and offside against the All Blacks in the tackle now they've released it up for Michael Jones Basham straight across for Innes good hands here Wright gets into the gap looking for Timu Jones was there just two metres short of the line All Black forwards arriving quickly they've got to free it quickly if they can Feet get to work. Basham. Now Preston. Innes. Popped up again for Preston. Preston trying to run Tuingamata in. Tuingamata tries to snap it up. Lost it behind him. McCarhill carries it on. To kick a penalty from a handy position. And he has guided it through. So John Preston kicks a penalty goal to give the All Blacks a 20 points to 3 advantage. That's his second penalty. On the main stand side of the ground towering away downfield lovely kick again by John Preston spiraling away down Bashup for Preston and that's another good clearing kick by John Preston well his goal kicking hasn't always been on target today but certainly his punting has been most impressive Bashup feeding Preston and again a beautiful spiraling kick by John Preston 
There goes the big lateral throw in by Gary Hine. Carry on, says the referee, Eric Whittaker takes it in and a head-high tackle by the All Blacks this time. Pidcock with the feed, tight head for Fitzpatrick. Basham whips it away for Preston. Innes, way, way across to Timu. Timu stretching the legs, right came in field. Now Preston has a run down the right wing side. Tries to bang it back into the centre. Preston's nailed this one, that's a good kick. John Preston converts the try scored by Inga Tuigamala. And uh, that was the reason that he was forced from the field. Big scrum by the All Blacks. Basham up to Preston. Preston down the blind side. He goes, nice pass inside. Alan Wetton. This is better stuff from the All Blacks inside the 22. Now they set it. Held in the back by all. Now Basham frees it up. Preston having a little dab. Looking to free it up for Craig Innes. And Innes struggles over. Craig Innes gets the try right near the end. Converts the try scored by Craig Innes. Touchline here. Nice quality ball delivered for Bashup. Innes. Good support from McCarhill. He has Preston there. All Blacks finishing well now. Timu gets into the gap. John Timu. Terry Wright takes it beautifully. And that's the best try of the day. Try number three for Terry Wright. Preston converts the try scored by Terry Wright. Referee looks at his watch, says we'll carry on. 46 points to six. And in fact, the whistle is blown. So that is it, it is all over. The All Blacks have won their second pool match here at the Rugby World Cup in 1991 by 46 points to six.